Now the next thing up is the B7 chimney bottom. You know, while you've got the chimney plan, you might as well go ahead and glue all the pieces of the chimney together. Uh, just as long as you get everything, uh, everything done. The uh, little exception here are these decorative windows that go in. And you notice I've got uh, a window here and a window here. These are going to have a piece of cardstock glued behind them, just like we did with the uh, stone support on the water wheel. Now you're going to notice one other odd thing about these little window inserts that go in the chimney. They'll be painted as stone, uh, just to be a stone decoration. You'll notice that this is actually a round arch, but the window insert that we have is square. And it's actually meant to fit this, you know, round one here. The reason I did this is to show you that you can actually sand and get rid of these and make this fit round, uh, round topped arches in your buildings. Okay, a little closer up. What you want to do is just nip off the edge here. So uh, get the tile nippers on there and then just nip off, you just kind of nibble away a little bit, uh, nibble away a little bit till you get kind of close to, to where you need to be. And you know, just, I don't know, it's pretend you're clipping toenails, okay? Anyway, you can get a bunch of it off by doing that way, okay? So we're going to clip a little bit, we're going to clip a little bit more, and just sort of nibble away at it, and don't go too far. So take your piece of coarse sandpaper, and just kind of uh, uh, take off a little bit of that edge. Now this doesn't have to be perfect, okay? All it has to do is fit that stone arch. Okay, I know this is cheating, but those of you who are into the hobby and spend a lot of time and money on the hobby, one thing you might want to consider getting is, uh, this is a, uh, I believe it's a 10 inch uh, variable speed disc sander. I got this from Micromark, uh, M-I-C-R-O-M-A-R-K dot com. And uh, I have uh, two of these actually, and if I could pan over here, I've got one with fine sandpaper and one with uh, coarse sandpaper. Uh, these things are just really handy for getting things to fit. Instead of sanding by hand, you can just turn these suckers on. So I am going to cheat for some of these windows. And just let you know that uh, those of you that, who, who build a lot might want to consider getting these. These are expensive. These suckers are about $300. So most of you are going to think, oh my god, I ain't going to spend that much. But... What you do is you basically turn it on, and if you need round corners, you just, there you go. Okay, that side fits. Okay. And then, uh, you've got something that'll fit a lot quicker and easier. Next thing to do is glue these windows down to a piece of thick cardstock and let them dry before we trim them out. So I'm just going to throw a little bit of... Uh, glue on the back there same way with the top here and they don't have to be glued really you know super good or anything uh, there we go and so I'm just gonna spread that glue out a little bit on the back stick it down Whoop. and we'll spread the glue out a little bit on the back here and we'll stick this one down and don't press so hard that you snap the piece, but just push it down kind of nice and firm. Let it dry completely, and then we will take an X-Acto knife and our cutting board and trim around the outside. And then that will allow us to assemble the rest of our chimney. Now as far as trimming these windows out, you can use an X-Acto knife and score along the side. But I've got me a big pair of heavy scissors, and if you're careful, you can probably cut this without having to do that. Uh, don't, you know, cut too far into your piece, but... You know, you can do that and you've already got a side of it, uh, a side of it already cut. Now when you're doing these window sections and you're assembling the chimneys, keep in mind that one of these windows is round and the other is square. See this one right here? That's a square top. You don't have to sand it. Just leave it like it is. The other thing that's a little screwy to keep in mind is this spot right here on the bottom chimney. This says a one inch block on its edge. In other words, we can't glue that in right now because it's actually, if this was lifted up, this would be stuck against it. So we're going to wait to put this last block in once these three pieces have dried and we're assembling the bottom of the chimney. Now in gluing these together for the bottom, you also want to glue together this block right here. And what this block is got uh, three one and a half inch pieces 
a three quarter inch on the end, a three quarter inch one on the end, and then we've got three of these little angle pieces all. So go ahead and glue that whole block together. And this is actually going to go underneath this strip right here once we get it glued together. Okay, let's glue the chimney bottom together. Here are the pieces we have for the chimney bottom. And here are the pieces already glued together and dried. Uh, once again, you'll probably glue other pieces in the meantime while you're waiting for these to dry. Let me show you real quickly how these go together. Uh, don't forget that we have a one inch block right here that's going on end. So I'll show you how that kind of goes together. Basically, the best way to put this together is to flip the whole thing upside down in order to assemble it. So I'm going to flip these all over. This one goes back over here, and that one goes like there. So these are the pieces that we're going to put together. So this one basically is going to flip up like this and rest on the table. This one is going to flip up like this and rest on the table. This one is going to go right here, and then this one inch block is going to go up on end just like that. And that will be our assembled chimney bottom. One last thing that I almost forgot on the bottom of this uh, chimney here is on this shoulder, this is kind of optional, but this is one thing that I, I chose to do on the plans. We have these strips from the brick panel mold that are just look like a straight line like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put three of them along here. So you can just put one, two, and three and glue them up on the side like that. And that will kind of finish that little shoulder of the chimney for you. Now if you like, it kind of extends over the edge a little bit. And what I've done is I kind of prefer to sand the edge of that a little bit. So what you can do is, is you can take some sandpaper and let's take, the, uh, let's take the brick edge that we've got here. And if you hold it at a 45 degree angle, you can kind of, uh, kind of sand that down. And it doesn't have to be a perfect 45 degree angle. And this is also, you know, a little bit difficult to do properly. Uh, but if you look at it, what, what it does is that when you put this up here, it'll actually meet up here a little closer up against if you can get that 45 degree angle right.